um, I had this whole choreography that I made and then I had to pretend I didn't know how to do it well. And that was kind of a funny thing to shoot because I was like, how do I move in the way that's not the right way? So that was, I was like, I don't know how to do this. And then eventually I just kind of, it came to me. And so it, it shows me sort of like in this journey and just these little clips of me not being very good and eventually just kind of like going for it. And then it just looks like I'm doing it and it's, it's amazing. And so that was it's funny because it models also how it happened in my life as a dancer, in my journey as a dancer. Um, and, and things were very challenging. And I have some old videos that from classes that I, I look at and I just cringe and I'm like, oh, my gosh. And so and, and then seeing where I am now. And of course, there's a lot more progress to be made, but it's just kind of like a huge, it's almost like a quantum jump from one reality to another. And it just looks like night and day. So, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you for being so transparent and sharing that story with us. You know, it's not easy to look at ourselves. And um, one of the things I've noticed about you in this interview is that you uh, are very honest and, and, you know, you're, you're genuine. And I think that is also going to come out in your music and um, all of your talent, I think, is going to shine because of that. So thank you. Lady Authentics, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And um, so now you have a following already um, mm-hmm. from your live performances. Where can people find you uh, and, you know, either to see you live or to follow you online? Yeah, um, I, I performed. Uh, I'm not performing at the moment right now just because I'm focusing on, on the, the writing and the, this new song and the video coming on everything. But I have performed a lot at uh, Plaza Mariachi, which is a place here in Nashville. It's a local uh a place where uh, there's a lot of Latin music, a lot of live music. I did a singing competition there, and that's kind of what got me started here and got to meet a lot of people. Um, and um, online, I am I'm I'm available. I'm available everywhere. <laughs> no, I'm everywhere on social media as uh, the So Sophia T H E S O S O F I A, and so that's my handle everywhere. So wonderful. Now, it, so the So Sophia. So we know in English we have the name Sophia. Yes. And you may be spelled with a PH, but what, um, tell me about So Sophia. Is that a different language? So um, my actual name that I was born with is Sophia with an F, uh, which is the actual spelling, means wisdom in Greek. Uh, so I don't like it when people spell my name with PH. It's kind of like one of my pet peeves, but. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and I, I love my name. I'm so glad I was I was named Sophia because I think it's such a beautiful name. Um, and when it came to my artist's name, I just kind of wanted something that was my alter ego, but also had my essence in it. And so I didn't want to go too far away from that. And I think So Sophia sort of does that. It's like me, but it's like the evolved version of me, if you will. <laughs> Lisa. That I mean, okay, well, I, you know, I heard it and I was like, she's not so-so at all. She's extraordinary, right? 